hello today we are going to see our new product that is sam it stands for standalone acquisition of data using modbus it's a unique product uh, in typical configuration for collecting data of modbus devices we need the configuration will be like this where you will have scada talking to plc and PLC in turn will be talking to other Modbus devices using Modbus communication card on the PLC rack. However, in our, clay, our case, we don't need PLC, we don't need SCADA. What we need is simple laptop or simple PC to directly connect to Modbus devices. This straight away cuts down the cost of PLC and SCADA and you can use your existing normal uh, media, uh, middle configuration PC for collecting the data uh, and you just need an adapter to connect to Modbus devices so just uh, the, the minimum requirement will be each device should be talking should be able to talk on Modbus and you should have some interface like a USB to RS422 converter adapter fitted to this laptop now we are going to demonstrate the same configuration in our case what we have is PLC as a node 1, energy meter as node 2 and monitoring system like Bentley Nevada vibration system as a node 3 will be so this is uh, an indicative user interface uh, let me clear, clear one thing SAM is an interface for data collection it's not interface so we will be able to collect the data using this interface and we will be able to show any kind of graphical user interface and any kind of report using this communication protocol or a communication gateway so we are getting PLC comparing this with our system we have PLC as node 1 we are connecting three data points so first, uh, first, first column says that it is connected if it is one then it is connected i'll just demonstrate that to you by by disconnecting this device right now i have disconnected the device and we are getting status zero that indicates that though i have data it's invalid i'll connect it back so again the device is online and we have we are receiving the data and we are going to modify the data now for plc1 uh, let's say rpm of motor 1 it's 30 it's modified to 50 we'll modify now jobs per minute from 2 to 3 now we have configured for example uh, there may be some critical cases with modbus devices for in this case we are simulating air pressure let's say air pressure crosses 5 bar right now it's 2 but if it crosses 5 bar then we are getting highlighted figure so immediately the operator will be able to notice that there is something wrong with the device and there is an alarm saying with the timestamp that there is a air pressure overshoot moving ahead with the uh, other cases where modbus uh, communication is very common that is energy monitoring system in this case uh, we are collecting data of phases phase R, phase Y, phase B now uh, we have configured the threshold for phase Y to be uh, 75 now if we cross that it, sorry it's not 75 it's 90 so if we cross that we are getting uh, overcurrent alarm at the timestamp 5.57.07 pm and that alarm comes here so this is a typical uh, uh, case where you want a PC at a remote location just to monitor your power station where you have MCC, PCC, some contactor with a Modbus connectivity then you can collect the data and send it to monitor that at a remote location because it's not necessary to be uh, in that room uh, in front of uh, a PCC to see the data and one can easily monitor all the stations distributed then we have a typical other case where we have vibration monitor system and we have x axis vibration, y axis vibration, z axis vibration so you can see that the data is getting modified from remote location 
and there is a there is a vibration monitoring alarm configured for vibration axis z so once it overshoots we are getting alarm and that has also ca you can see it here now this is a typical demo where we can configure bar graph we can configure train train controls we can configure uh, mis data logging to uh, show you mis once we dump the data into sql database or any other database we are flexible so instead of using a typical uh, costly architecture of having scada scada platform and then configuring that then configuring plc adding uh, compulsory modbus card and then communicating with your devices which itself increases your overall hardware cost plus engineering cost we can simply have you can simply use our sam protocol uh, sam gateway and we ca you can simply use simple uh, non non uh, expensive hardware configuration for laptop also and it will start communicating moving ahead we have a uh, larger configuration where uh, typical con uh, existing configuration would involve scada plc where the distances are large then you will have to convert your uh, modbus communication to fiber optic and then you will connect three uh, in this case three distributed station located at different geographical location but instead of that you can use our standard where you will have modbus gateway uh, it will uh, send the data and receive data from internet and uh, on other geographical location where you need to talk with uh, modbus devices again you will have modbus to gprs gateway which will con convert your data received from internet or sent to internet to local modbus protocol and then you can collect the data uh, this configuration can be as large as the geographical distribution of this configuration can be as large as one city where you are collecting data from different gas stations or different pipelines etc and since you are not li laying physical wires like this and costly fiber optic cables and costly uh, converters of fiber optic this this will straight away reduce the cost plus your installation will be very fast so if you are interested please contact me at s integrator a c e n t e g r a t o r at gmail.com thank you for watching this video